There are stories all around you, even in dark, secluded places. Share your stories. Mark the places where they were born. No greater gift can you give to one another. The Herms is in the If what we've heard is true, we've just built ourselves a green. To the ravine, the way across should be ready. Jason, over here! Left caps! Gather them, Atalanta. Hurry! Atalanta, can you read this herm? Leo Lewamaxa, Hypnage ni Woyate Toko Tokatu. Here was the beast Hypnage first seen. Alef le Chiosoke one, the chief of the jungle now. Iwaka, Iyuk Omani Leo, Gazet Awe Le Mache. Beware, all who travel here, death stalks this land. Nessus made this herm, the last herm the Nisiros made on Saria. He went out alone into the jungle to place it. Felt it was our duty to warn any who came here. This is where I killed my first satyr. I was probably around eight or nine. I was cleaning a manticore when it emerged from the jungle just in front of me. Next thing I knew, the satyr was lying on the ground with an arrow through its eye. Atlanta, can you read this herb? Kepa et oyeye waka. Te wapaze leche acte, lechie o makunka. Call to the messenger. He will show you the bridge across the great ravine. Lycus himself carved this herm. No one here. And no sign of Hypnage's lair either. Kichita. Not here, then where? Let's look about. Keep our eyes open.
Jason, look! That fruit! Not any fruit I've seen before. If it's what I suspect, very few people have. This is a caduceus tree. See the roots? They resemble the entwined snakes of Hermes' staff. I've never seen it bear fruit before. The centaurs say it blooms when Hermes has been near. It is also said that whomever eats of the fruit can see through the eyes of Hermes himself. Know this, Jason. I've heard tales of great men who ate of the caduceus fruit and never quite recovered. Claimed they saw things that weren't there. Heard voices when no one else could. It's clear Hermes has led us to this fruit. I trust this is what he wants me to do. Atlanta. Pan! Don't worry about them. They're fine. You'll catch up to them in a moment. Hermes? The fruit. I feel... Sorry about the taste. Was aiming for a sort of pomegranate. Came out more like the sole of a sandal. Oh well. I saw Alcimer. You saw lost spirits, your wife among them. Unlike the others, she is under my protection. For now. How long can you protect her spirit, Hermes? I must know. She'll be lost before you see her again. And so you face a hard choice. Return now, and give her last rites to save her from that fate. Or, find the fleece, and bring her back entirely. That choice has already been made. Then know this. As a lost spirit, she will wander for eternity, slowly losing all memory of who she was in this world. Only you, who are most intimate with her, can perform the last rites to put her spirit to rest. Should you die during your quest to find the Golden Fleece, then Alcime would be lost forever. I know what you seek here, but the time is not yet right for the one who carries my blood to be revealed. What would you have me do? The Nasiros are a good people. You must end their suffering. By slaying Hepnage? There's another evil on Saria far greater than that. One you must uncover and destroy. How? The fruit has given you new eyes. Ones that can peer into the spirit world itself. Go and find the lost spirits that roam this island, and give to them last rites. Talk to them. The dead hold the key, Jason. In their dwindling minds, you'll find the answers that you see. We lost you there for a moment, Jason. I spoke with Hermes. We have more work to do. What does the messenger want us to do? We must speak with the spirits of the dead. The fruit I ate allows me to see them. There's something going on here. Something more than just hypnagee. What do you mean? A greater evil. Hermes says the dead will tell us more. I'm certain they will. Spirits see things we mortals cannot.
spirit. Do you see it? No, I don't see anything. Only I ate the fruit. Only I can see them then. The jungle is unsafe. Not safe for anyone. Hermes sent me to help you find rest, spirit. Run, my child. Run to safety. Who is your child? Who do you tell to run? Take me, but let her be! How did you meet your end, spirit? We thought the cliffs were safe, but there was no danger there. Lysander, protect our daughter! Lysander? What? That's my father's name. And your mother's? It was Pelagia. Your parents were great people, Atalanta. The Assassin and the Oracle. What? What are you talking about? My wife was murdered because of a prophecy given to her father by the Oracle Pelagia. For that she was marked for death by the Black Tongues. But the Assassin sent to kill her instead fell in love. That Assassin's name was Lysander. Together they fled and disappeared from history. They came to Saria to hide. Your parents could have many insights to share. Both about the evils on Saria and about the Black Tongues. We must do as Hermes asked. Go to her final resting place and give her last rites. Hypnage's tracks. Can you see them? Where? I see nothing. Strange. This must be Hermes' sight. Where I lived until the Mysterious came. The Herm here? I didn't know what it was then. He kept me company. I'd tell him how the hunt went, and he would listen. After a while, I didn't even have to talk. He'd just know. He was a good friend. Spirit, can you hear me? Forgive me. I thought we would be safe here. What danger do you fear? What good fortune 
To escape such evil, you need to be killed by mindless beasts. How did you die, spirit? I tried to find you, but you were gone. My only hope was that you could reach the shrine. It was on the way. Before I reached the castle, they saw me. Lysander, I see the spirit of your father, Atalanta. Jason, what does he say? I failed you, Lysia. He was killed by manticores, somewhere near the ravine. We must do as Hermes asked. Find his final resting place, and give to him last rites. Jason, what was your wife like? Strong. Beautiful. Smart. Kind. She could fight. From where she comes from, everyone can fight. I would like to meet her. You will. I am Arctos, traveler. You speak clearly for a spirit. I was killed, but recently. I recall Lycus saying that a spirit's senses dull the longer they go without last rites. Over time, I will only recall fragments of memories. But tell me, why is Hermes so run without you to see the dead? Hermes said by helping spirits find rest, we would uncover a great evil on Saria. If he means Hypnage's secret, then perhaps I can prove him true. What do you mean? Ebnage attacked our hunting party. I was the first to fall. My spirit lingered, and I watched, hoping my tribesmen would finish the fight. Enraged by my death, they swarmed the beast. In the end, it vanished from their sight, but not from mine. But... You were dead. So I was. She entered the spirit realm. That's her secret. That's how she cheats death. And since you now have Hermes' sight, we can kill her. Promise me something, friend. If you find my body, give me my last rites. But not before you destroy that thing. Let me leave this world knowing she has been stopped. You have my word. Thank you, Arctos. Arctos? You speak with Arctos? Yes. His spirit is here. He was my friend. There were times I didn't feel part of the tribe. Arctos always helped me when I felt that way. He showed me how the Nisiros hunt, and I showed him how I was taught. We learned from each other. Arctos was the first to try and hunt Hepnage. He actually used himself as bait to lure her out. He was also the first to survive. The first to make her disappear and run. But the damn thing got him in the end. Tell her, friend. Tell her that Arctos has one last hunting tip for her. Arctos has learned the beast's secret. It enters the spirit world when it vanishes. What a fascinating creature. Hypnage's days are numbered. There's a whole slash. Killers and brutes make my skin crawl. A ghostly spirit put off by centaurs? Beasts. Destroyed my village. My wife. Dead. Children! Butcher! Brutes all my good. Cruel and now fallen. But Gallus had his revenge, didn't he? Survivors? Yes. We regrouped. Give honor, brother. Honor, wine. Sweets. 
slaughter. Sweet vengeance. How did you die, Callus? The race without honor. Slit my frozen knife and my last rites. Where's your body, Callus? Trophy of the half breeds Left to rot. Balance still in my favor, though. Ha! Poor Miseros. Only one callous. Only we should be fed with more than him. Here, Jason. My father died here. How do you know? I just do. It's strange. I've been by this place a thousand times. But after you spoke with my father's spirit, it's as if I can sense him. I know he's here, Jason. Please, speak the rights. As you say. Let the gods be witness to these last rites. Hear me, stout-hearted Ares. Here is Lysander, husband of Pelagia. Let this man's virtue be a beacon for us who still live. Lysander delivered both himself and his family from the clutches of the Black Tides. With legions of assassins hunting them, Lysander brought his wife and child safely to far-off Saria. May we who live Show such skill and guile in all that we set out to do. Lysander, find now your eternal place. Find now the fate you deserve. You are released from this mortal tether. May unyielding Hades have mercy on your spirit. What? Who are you? Lysander, I am Jason, and this is... Father! It's Atalanta! Atalanta? My daughter? Are you well? Yes, Father. Listen, child. It is difficult for me to see you. Your mother's spirit still binds me. Go, daughter, and release her, so that together we may at last find peace. Father, I will find her. I promise.
in a great battle. For three days we fought. Every centaur who could hold a spear. Jason, my mother's final resting place. I can sense it. Speak the rights. As you say. Let the gods be witness to these last rites. Hear me, brilliant Apollo. I speak to you of Pelagia, wife of Lysander, and your own oracle. Let this woman's virtue be a beacon for us who still live. Pelagia was an oracle of Apollo, one of the precious few who ever hear such a calling. Her mystic sight saw truths hidden from the rest of the world, though they also brought evil upon her. May all who suffer for their gifts find comfort, in this world or the next. Pelagia, wife of Lysander, find now your eternal place. Find now the fate you deserve. You are released from this mortal tether. May unyielding Hades have mercy on your spirit. Where am I? Who are you? Pelagia, I am Jason. There's someone you should meet. I... I'm... You're my... Atalanta. My beautiful Atalanta. Pelagia! The Sander! We're free at last! Pelagia, the prophecy you once gave to King Lycomedes. It involved my wife, Alcime. Do you remember? A daughter with the blood of Ares. By her life, the dark titan is undone. By her death, the raven is released. Her warden holds her fate. Lycomedes thought he was his daughter's warden, but it is you of whom the prophecy speaks, traveler. Know this, warden. You still hold your love's fate in your hands. It all depends on you. Hermes told us the spirits on Saria know of a great evil on this island. Indeed. We know who controls the beast. One of your own, Atalanta. A traitor. A centaur? One of the Nisiros? Who? Since they arrived, we've watched as the centaurs hunted them out to extinction. But they didn't kill them all. One of the centaurs found the Brunar. In a secret, he tamed it. Tamed? With dark sorcery, this centaur then changed the brood mother into the beast that now preys upon the tribe. Nessus! You speak of Nessus! Yes, daughter. That is his name. This can't be. He controls the beast, commands it, and he's trying to breed more. We must go back. We must warn the village. Our time here is at an end, daughter. Know that you always have our love. Father. Father. I never thought I'd see you again. 
Every day I have thought of you. Every day I have missed you. I have a new tribe now, but I will carry you always in my heart. Father, Mother, find your way to Elysium. Jason, no matter what happens, I'll never forget this gift. One last moment with my family. Back in the village, I keep my father's spear. I want you to have it. As for Nessus, I'm going to tear out his heart. Jason, I said I wanted to give you something of my father's. There, on the mantle. His spear. Take it. But... Kichita! I've already made up my mind. I'll never use that thing. Seems almost a dishonor to have it lie around unused. So take it already. As you will. I'm honored, Atalanta. Atalanta, what news of Phalion did you find him? Phalion now walks with Hermes on his path to the underworld. He was given last rites. I thank you for that. I feared for his life, but an even greater fear was that his spirit would be lost forever. Will you leave with the others now, Genius? No, I will stay. My son has given everything for the Nisiros. How could I leave it behind now? I will compose my son's history and add it to our lore so all will remember the sacrifice he made for Sovereign. You're back. Tell me you found some more left caps somewhere. We're completely out. Atalanta spotted some. Bless those sharp eyes, Wixie. Make them last, Panta. The satyrs have picked the jungle nearly clean. This will help a great deal. I thank you all. One thing before we leave. What do you think of the punishment of Callus, Pantelia? A vile, outdated custom. A relic we took with us from our homeland of Arcadia. Those who cling to the tradition won't even say Callus' name. But I'm too busy to worry about such nonsense. Thank you for your time, Pantelion. Back again, are you? That man who hangs in your village. Tell me, what was his crime? 
That is no man. That is a piece of offal, no longer fit to feed the crows. If you claim him as one of your kind, know this. He murdered four of my people. Now his remains serve as a warning. Take the life of an Isiros, and your spirit will be bound here forever. Was his name Callus? I believe that rotting husk was once called by that name. I must give that man last rites. Never! The spirit of that black heart will stay on Saria until the end of time. Were Callus judged by Hades, he would be sent to Tartarus and face far worse. You do him a favor. Tartarus? Who knows of Tartarus? I have not been there. Have you? I want him rotting where I can see him. No! There is no greater punishment among the Nesiros. That rotting thing has been utterly erased, as if it had never been. Any of the tortured spirits in Tartarus would gladly trade their place for his. Sisyphus, Tantalus, Ixion, and his Wheel of Fire. He's had many years as a spirit to think on what he has done. What if he's found remorse? Then Hades might show mercy. He deserves no mercy. Agrios, I've spoken with the spirit of Callus. He hasn't changed. Still vengeful and bitter. Hades won't be merciful. And you and I couldn't begin to imagine his divine torments. I can imagine quite a bit. In that case... Do it! What? Cut him down. Do whatever you want with his wretched body. I want Callus to experience this divine suffering you speak of. Let the gods be witness to these last rites. Hear me, stout-hearted Ares. Here is Callus, warrior of Arcadia. Let this man's vice be a lesson to us who still live. Callus was a misguided avenger whose warped righteousness caused more suffering than was his due. May we all take heed to keep our vengeance righteous and within the limits of justice. Callus of Arcadia, find now your eternal place. Find now the fate you deserve. You are released from this mortal tether. May unyielding Hades have mercy on your spirit. They're called Centaurs, Callus. Remember that on your trip to Hades. What is that horse lover doing with you? What have you done? I booked your passage to Hades. Your ship sails soon. Just a deal. I freed your spirit. You've been given last rites. Prepare for the underworld. What have I to fear from Hades? Is that a rhetorical question? You've murdered innocents, Callus. I avenged my family! Whose truth will Hades see? May you receive the fate you deserve. A curse on you, horse! On all of you! So, you've done your good deed for the day. Take this mess. It belonged to Callus. 
You kept it? We Nisirus believe that every weapon is alive in its own way. Weapons used for evil live a life of suffering. As a bronze weaver, I try to heal that race, cleanse its suffering. Perhaps you can do more. That is a rare honor, Jason. By law, that mace belonged to Agrios. He worked hard to make something good from it. Bear it with pride. The Council should have been consulted before you let those strangers leave this village like us. Atalanta, what is it? It's Nessus. It's been Nessus all along. He controls Hypnage. He tamed her. This jest is in poor taste, Atalanta. She speaks the truth. Who are you to say so? Deranged ramblings of an outsider! He spews lies to tear us apart! You can't take this seriously like us! Jason, Atalanta, do you have proof? I have only my word. Without proof, there can be no challenge. Then I'll kill him where he stands! He's a murderer! I will make him suffer! Show your proof, or close your mouth. I am an elder of this tribe. You may pretend to be one of us. This crippled fool may even indulge you. But you will never be Nisiros, girl. So help me, I will pierce your lying tongue and pin it to your skull! <laughs> you prove my point. No Nisiros would kill another outside the law. Let loose your arrow. You'll be outcast forever and erased from the memory of this tribe. Atalanta, this is not our way. He's the criminal, Atalanta, not you. He defied the tribal law of the Nasiros. You aren't like that. An arrow through the eye would be too good for you, Six Hoof. I will undo you, Nessus. We will find the proof we need. And when I've disgraced you, then, and only then, will I pierce your black heart. This human goes too far like us. The others will hear of this outrage. Like as you believe me, don't you? Of course. But proof is needed. Something to link Nessus to the beast. Think, my daughter. Where does your heart tell you Hypnage lives? I've always thought she must live near where the satyrs leave their sacrifices. But I've found nothing! Things are different now. With Hermes' sight, I can see tracks that no one else can. Then start your search there. I believe in you.
Hypnage's tracks. It's been here. Not long ago. They lead straight into that rock wall. Into the rock? Stand aside. Master's time has come. Let the gods be witness to these last rites. Hear me, bright-eyed Athena. In your name, I deliver Artos, fallen hunter of the Nisiros. Let this centaur's virtue be a beacon for us who still live. Arctos was a proud Avenger, a writer of wrongs who put himself in harm's way to help his people. In his finest moment, he became the first to hunt the beast that plagued the Nisiros. May we all be willing to make such sacrifices in the name of justice. Arctos of the Nisiros, find now your eternal place. Find now the fate you deserve. You are released from this mortal tether. May unyielding Hades have mercy on your spirit. By Hermes, you did it! You killed that damn beast! Arctos! Noita, you did it! You can rest now, Arctos. You have brought great honor to the Nasiros, all of you. Then quit dawdling, Proudstep. You've loitered long enough. May you run the fields of Elysium forever. I will prepare a place for you until we hunt again.
kill her. To destroy something so perfect is unforgivable. That thing was an abomination. As are you. What a worthless race you are. Weak, small, playthings of the gods. I am Nessus, son of Neros, and I am my race perfected! When we're done with you, we'll drag your corpse back for all the Nisiros to see. The Nisiros? My tribe is Raven! What do you think is going to happen here? Kill one. I've seen more battles than you've seen days in your life. Nessus, son of Neros. I bear proof of your treachery. So demand lawful challenge. By the laws of the Nisiros, I call you traitor! Defend yourself! Murderer! The Black Tongues will avenge me! I am favored of Hecate! Where's your mistress now, villain? I will. I will. No one's listening! No one hears you!
Jason, the tribe Nisiros is eternally grateful to you and your friends. We did what we had to. Without Atalanta's help, we would not have succeeded. Even in our darkest days, I have always thanked Hermes for sending Atalanta to us. Like us. Let me boast of you, daughter. Don't deny an old centaur that joy. Jason, I present you with this tribal armor of the Nisiros. I am honored, Lycus. I remember when the Nisiros first arrived on Saria. I met them at the edge of the forest in the guise of a magnificent ram. In hindsight, I might have chosen a different form. Their hunters tried to shoot me. You've done a great thing here, Jason of Yelkus. You've restored Saria and the Nisiros. I did what must be done to further my quest. It's time we talked about what help you can offer me. So it is, so it is. Before I give you something, I must take something back. I allowed you to see through my eyes for a time, but mortals are not meant to see that way for long. Let's see what I can give you in return. I call it Wind Shear. It will serve you well. And one more thing. Honored by your gifts, but I need to find the one who carries your blood. Ah, yes, nearly forgot. Come, let's speak with Lycus. Hermes, you honor us. You honor yourself, Lycus. By choosing to stay and fight. The tribe Nasiros is forever favored in my eyes. Jason needs one who shares my blood. Lycus, what do you say? What do I say? Lycus? In the bloodline of Hermes? Not just Lycus. All centaurs. It's a long story, but I think Lycus would be a good fit for your purpose, Jason. I would be honored to help Jason in any way I can. Then welcome aboard. We have room on the Argo for one more. That is, if she's willing. Me? 
I was hoping you were going to ask her, Jason. Why do you want me to join you? You'd make a fine Argonaut, Atalanta. Your skills complement our own. I've long thought about seeing the world beyond this island. My tribe comes first. What say you, Lycus? Atalanta, you are Nisiros, but you are also human. Venture out among your own kind for a time. Learn about your people, and then choose where you best belong. Then my bow is yours, Jason. Excellent! This tale gets more interesting by the minute. It's time we leave. Argonauts, to the ship! Now is not a good time, Jason. The ambush on Saria troubles me. How could the Black Tongues know we would be there? I fear there is a spy among us, so I have opened my mind to Hecate. I will be able to sense others whose minds are touched by her hand. Very well. We'll take the risk. A presence following us, looking down upon us as if from a great height. They are aware of our purpose. They know what we know. The spy has been with us since we left Yolkis. No! She sees me. No! Stay out of my mind! Medea! I can't stop it, Jason! The runes! I can't release the power with these runes here! Remove them, Jason! Or I will die! Runes are supposed to protect you. 
and the rest of us. We agreed when we set out you were to stay here until our voyage was complete. You have the right to keep me imprisoned. Let me out! Jason. I know. You're being controlled. Fight it! No! Yes. She is gone now. I felt her. I felt her, Kate. I needed you to help me. I needed your will to drive her out. Thank you. Are you hurt? My mind is weary. Leave me now. I must rest. After my tribe made the journey from Arcadia to Saria, I told myself I would never sail the seas again. Goes to show you, despite all our plans and declarations, the great unknown will always have its say. At least the tribe is well. I will look forward to my return and seeing the progress they have made. Were you surprised to learn you were in the bloodline of Hermes? At first, yes. There are many legends of centaur origins, but none included Hermes. After I thought on it, though, it seemed fitting. I am proud to be a descendant of Hermes. No doubt he is amused by the entire situation. Who will lead the Nasiros in your absence? Agrios has been chosen to serve as Aleph for the time being. He is a good choice. Our females will be returning soon, and they will help as well. I'm glad you supported Atalanta's choice to come along. I think this voyage will be a wonderful experience for her, the danger notwithstanding. She is a special girl, a special woman. There is much to admire in her. The Nisiros cannot be selfish and keep her hidden from the world on Saria. I think she has much to learn from other humans, but I also think she has much to teach as well. That's all for now, Lycus. Thank you. We're one step closer to Alsame, Jason. I'm proud of you. Thank you, Lycomedes. If we succeed, my Sene will owe a debt to everyone on this ship. Let me know if you require anything. I take my leave. Centaur armor is finely crafted. Strong, but also flexible. I suppose if you've been at war for a millennium, your warcraft would be advanced. Now I'd put the Stymphalian birds up against your Chimera any day. I've seen a Chimera breathe forth a fearful blast of searing fire. No bird could withstand that. Well, the, the giant Jerium and his two-headed dog Orthrus. Now they wouldn't have any difficulty with a Chimera. 
It's two against one. If we're going to pick teams, then I'll pair my Chimera with a Sphinx. That changes everything. The, uh, Lernaean Hydra, then, is one of mine. The Lernaean Hydra had nine heads. That isn't fair at all. But only one body. That counts. And for my second, I'll take the Nemean Lion. Now that's a team. Fine. But now that I know the rules, I'll also change my selections. Scylla and Charybdis. There, beat that. Oh, come now, Han. Now you're being unreasonable. Looks like Atalanta and Lycus have settled in. I'm glad they're aboard. Me too. Both will make fine allies. Right before you arrived on Delphi, we were having a debate. I was trying to come up with an apt simile for a strong mind. I suggested the strong mind was like a trap. What goes in, stays in. The Oracle replied, A mind like a trap is great for killing what it catches. So I asked her opinion on the matter. And what comparison did she offer? She said, A strong mind is like a diamond. It sparkles brightest when it absorbs the light of truth. It has more than one facet, is precious beyond compare, and there is nothing it cannot cut. It's difficult to debate with someone who has all the answers. That's all for now, then. Thank you. So, tell me something, girl. The name's Atalanta. Right, Atalanta. Uh, the only human in a tribe of centaurs, eh? Must have got awful lonely at night. Surprisingly, no. Saria's home to swarms of annoying little greasy flies that pester you day and night. Whenever loneliness took me, I would just get up and start swatting them. Quite satisfying, really. I see. Strange girl. So, your training as a warden made you a weapon master. Which of your weapons do you prefer? They all have their purpose. Oh, come now. You must have a favorite. Hypothetically, say you were headed into battle and could only take one with you. Which would it be? If I could only bring one thing with me, it would be my shield. The shield is more versatile than most warriors realize. This one in particular has been carried by every king of Yolkus since the first. Seems a bit, uh, antiquated. No offense. It is old. As old as Yolkus. But in all that time, it's never failed its bearer. I wouldn't trade it for any other. This ship is amazing, Jason. It's as big as the village. So the open ocean suits you? To be honest, I'm a bit bored. The ship is big, but I miss the hunt. Lycus told me the centaur sailed for months to get to Saria. I'm already feeling restless, and it's only been a day. There'll be plenty of action ahead. Enjoy the calm and peace for now. If you're bored, I'm sure Pan wouldn't mind telling you a tale. Or ten. I've already had the pleasure. I'm excited, I think. Everything beyond Saria is new to me. How did you become such a good archer? Practice. My father taught me how to shoot. Made me my first bow. The first manticore I ever killed was with that little thing. See, when you're hunting manticores, you learn pretty quick to make every shot count. Later, the Nisiros taught me their style. The centaurs are excellent in firing on the move. How was it living by yourself for so long? Never really thought about it when it was happening, just the way it was. Mostly I thought about what I was going to eat that night. Anyway, I had the satyrs and manicures to keep me company. I learned a lot from watching the satyrs. What plants were good to eat, how to make a fire, 